Hi! In today's tutorial, you are going to learn how to paint this gorgeous dot mandala clock made from an old record. It's a pretty straightforward design that will easily lend itself to other projects as well. So if you don't have a record, no problem. As you well know, records have grooves, and we kind of need to take care of that, because if not, your dots will have like a flat edge, at least what I've noticed in my previous record tutorial. Um, that I made. I tested that out just to see and this was the best way to fill those in as far as I have been able to find. So I started off with a coat of a thicker paint. It's called Deco Art Americana Gloss Enamel Paint and that was in black and it just is a little thicker. It settles down in the grooves really nicely um, and fills them in. And then I did cover it with a um, another layer of paint. I just used a matte black and that was really just for the glare for you guys, so I could record this a little bit better and you could see it. And then I am going to go ahead and seal in those layers of paint with a Deco Art Americana um, matte sealer. So this is an aerosol spray, so you do want to do it outside. I mean, you don't want to be breathing in any fumes, so definitely a well-ventilated area. I would suggest, if not, uh, just go outside and do it. So I just used two thin layers, that's all you need, and it filled in the grooves nice and it's all flat and ready to take paint. So I am going to start off using um, a guideline stencil. Now this is a 12 slice guideline stencil. You can find these in the dot art depot, dot art depot dot com. And what you do is you just use a little bit of chalk pencil, that's what I'm using here, and you just want to make your lines and then I connect them with a ruler and then I am going to turn my stencil to be right in between each of those previous guidelines and I'm going to draw on another set. So we're going to have 24 spokes, we want 24 guidelines and you'll see why later. And you do want to have a damp cloth just to be able to clean your tools off with. And here are the paints that we're using today. Now I will put a link to find these paints in the video description below. For the tools that I'm using, these are the all angled dotting tool set from the Dot Art Depot. They're all angled and you can see where you're going to place your dots. They're fantastic and I might be biased, but they're the best tools I've ever used. If you have my previous sets of tools, you can check the Dot Art Depot website and in this tool listing you can find where um, I match up my other tool sets with this tool set so you can still follow along. Um, so I'm starting off with tool size number 23. I drew the ring of the clock face on the record and that's what I'm kind of going on here. Um, so I'm just placing a dot on each of the guidelines and then one right in between each of those all around that ring. And you do want to you know, clean your tools as you go. The next color is called Moody Blue and the next tool is size 21. These are regular DecoArt Americana acrylic paints. And what we're doing is we're just going to be offsetting the previous rows. You're going to be placing a dot right in between two of the previous dots, okay? And you're going to be going all the way around. Now, two just so happen to fit in between each of the spokes for me. But, you know, I don't think there is a trick for spacing. If there is one and you know about it, leave me a comment below. As far as I know to do, I just try to see what fits. And then if it doesn't fit, I erase it, you know, just clean it up with a, another clean cotton swab and, and just keep moving along. That is tool size number nine, and that was using the color called Mermaid Tail. And we were just gonna put 12 of the dots, of the larger dots on there. And that's gonna, you know, be for your numbers. We're following up with a size 28, and Dove Tail is the color of paint, so it's a light gray. Um, and then you just put the one first initial dot out on the center of the outer edge of each of the large dots. And then you're going to come back through with size 30. And you're going to go ahead and dot starting right next to the larger dot. And then you're going to just continuously dot all the way down to the base of one side. Then you're going to redip your tool and paint. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So you're just making like short little tails that wrap around and kind of hug that larger dot there. Okay, like a little bridge. Okay, I have to change the subject just for a moment here. I want to say that I am so sorry that I haven't been uploading regularly, like I had been doing for years. I um, experienced a death in the family. We lost my brother Simeon uh, in October of 2020, and it was just a major blow, you know, just a, an absolute great loss. And it's just been really hard for me to pick myself up and keep pushing like I, I used to be able to do. Um, you know, death just kind of puts things into 
you know, different perspectives and stuff. You have different realizations. And I know that everyone experiences death. It's just a part of life. And um, it's just that we were super close. Simeon and I are two, well, we're two years apart. And so when we were little, we always shared a bedroom, you know, and then growing up as adults, we always hung out and we went out to clubs and we went out and went fishing all the time, you know, like him and I were best buddies and, um, he was excellent with children. He was always around for my kids. Um, so it's just been really, really hard. Um, but my goal was for 2022 to get back to my normal schedule and, you know, post regularly. I mean, he would not want me to lie down and just give up. He would never want me to do that. So um, I'm doing it. You know, this is it. I'm, I'm here. <laughs> and I have to say thank you to you guys for being here. Thank you so much to you that is watching you. You're the reason that I make these tutorials to begin with. So we reached 250,000 subscribers on this channel. I can't believe that. That number is absolutely mind boggling. That's massive. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for liking the videos and for commenting. You're so, so sweet. And thank you for sharing all of my videos. I mean, every little bit helps so much. And I appreciate you. I really do. Um, so I, what I want from you is if you would, please leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you would like to see me make in a future tutorial. Um, maybe something that you're stuck on trying to figure out or I don't know, just something, you know, that you find useful. Cause if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have a channel at all. And you know, I, I did this for you. So I want to know what you want. So please do leave me a comment and let me know. Okay. I'm going back to the art here when you're free handing guidelines like that don't be freaked out don't be worried about it because listen you can just erase it it's it's you just draw it on lightly and and if you don't like it well then you just erase it and you start over again you're just wanting to look from one point to the other point and then think about where you want your curve to go and then maybe look for a reference, like on this record, there's lines. So I used the lines as a reference, like, oh, I'm gonna start curving it, you know, on this line, I'll start curving it back this way. You know what I'm saying? So don't freak out. I promise you, you can do it. It might take a little bit of practice, but you totally got it, okay? These are swipes, okay? We're moving on to the swipes. Swipes seem to intimidate people, and I get it. They're, you know, they're not always super easy, but with the right tools, you can do it. And you just have to have some patience. So. Again, you can clean them up if you don't like them. It's not the end of the world. Just one thing at a time here, okay? So you lay your big dot down, and then you're going to take your finest tool. And in this case, that is a size 33. This is the very smallest tool. Um, and you just want to drag the paint up towards the center. So that's why we needed the 24 different spokes. So I'm just dragging it right along that guideline. I added some champagne gold top dots to the inner ring there. It just makes it, you know, give it some shimmer and it pops. I love it. Now we're going to place dots of the midi blue right next to the copper swipe we've got there. We're going to swipe these in as close as we can get them to the copper um, without touching. So I would suggest if you're new to this and you're nervous about making the swipes or maybe getting them to where they run, they're a little too close, whatever. I would say go ahead and let your copper swipes dry completely and then go in with your subsequent swipes, you know, um, and then just round out that edge right up to the, the curve of the dot there. You got this. I'm totally confident that you have got this. All right, the next one, we're going back with that champagne gold, which I just love. It's beautiful and shimmery, metallic. I love the metallic colors. They just add life to a piece, in my opinion. So we're just making the dots a little smaller. We're keeping it right on the edge of that guideline that we freehanded, and then just swipe it in. You can make them as thick as you want for the tail. You can make it as thin as you want. It's all up to you. It's your piece, make it your own. Okay, so here I'm going in with some black paint and I'm just covering up the tips of the, um, of the end of the swipes there. 
you don't have to do this. I just, I liked that negative space between the petals and that black just made it look nice and even. Um, and then we're just going to go in with a real thin little swipe of the really light green paint. And that one is called Jadeite Glass. I was just trying to think of some uh, like home decor colors instead of the bright colors that I love to use. Like you could do this design and use rainbow colors. I always resort to rainbow. I love rainbow. You know, it's kind of my favorite color. <laughs> so, yeah, but you know, any of your favorite colors. Pick any of your favorite colors, put them together. I guarantee you that this project is going to turn out absolutely beautifully. So, I would love to see it. As a matter of fact, if you do recreate this tutorial, please share it with me and tag me on social media so I can see it because I love it. And sometimes I'll even share it to my stories. Um, you can find me on Facebook and my Facebook, private Facebook group. That is the best group ever. Everyone is so super nice and helpful and kind. You know, it's the best group out there. It really is. All right, I removed the guidelines with a kneaded eraser. You can find those in the Dot Art Depot. I am going to add the clock face with some E6000, which is just the best, strongest glue that I think there is on the market. Um, and you can find that at craft stores. As far as the clock face, I found mine on Amazon. I will put a link in this video's description where you can find the same one that I'm using here and the same hardware that goes, you know, the actual clock hardware. Um, I'll put a link for that too. And I wanted to show you this real quick. I took on a clear sheet of plastic and just to see what the edges would look like if they were dotted or if you wanted to do some extra, I left it. I liked it with the negative space, um, but it's up to you. That was just an idea that I wanted to share with you. Um, and then I wanted to kind of educate you on <laughs> my mistake and where I went wrong here. First of all, I glued down the face without um, varnishing the project, which was, I was able to work around that. That's okay. But as far as the clock hardware goes here, um, the the little stick there it wouldn't go in the hole like it went in the hole but it wouldn't go all the way in the hole there was like one more little notch that needed to go through the little hole and it wouldn't so like i tried with all my might to screw it in and to fix it and it wouldn't work i know there are easier ways to do this but long story short this is how i did it this is what worked i had to ultimately drill out the hole just to make it slightly bigger so that the shaft of the clock mechanism would fit in the hole so the reason I'm showing you this is just to maybe spare you the lesson. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to coat it with Deco Art Americana Triple Thick, and the project is finished. You do want to let that dry. I usually give it two or three coats of that Triple Thick, but um, this is how the project looks when it's all done. I hope you love this tutorial, and if you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would absolutely love to have you as a subscriber. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon to see all my future uploads and check out my previous tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you real soon. Bye now.